Okay, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new to the channel, uh, go ahead and hit that like button. And while you're down there, you might as well go on and move a little bit to the right and hit that subscribe button. You won't regret it. And then uh, look here. While you're there, you might as well hit the bell notification too and make sure you hit all so you get notified whenever I put out a new video. So now that we got that out of the way, what's going on? Let's get into another install. So as y'all remember last week, you know, we did an install, we did the tail lights and we had an issue with hyper blinking. So at that time I thought about it and I was like, okay, it's, it's, it's one of two things. But at first at, at the moment, I thought it was one thing, but then I started thinking it could be one more thing as well. So when I got the front turn signals and they were sequential, they came with a, a resistor that you can uh, add to it. So now thinking about that, and I think they did that because it's an LED bulb and LED bulbs respond a little different than halogen bulbs. So that is probably my issue with the back. So I reached out to Subi Speed and of course they answered me back really quick and they suggested that I get the, uh, the um, it's an OLM hyper blinking module. So today that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try and install that thing in the car and let's hope that that fixes our problem and then you know, we can use the sequential. I'll leave it on there for a while and see how I like it, but hell, let's go ahead and get started with this, uh, with this install, man. All right, y'all, so let's go on ahead and get a little prepared here. So first thing we need to do is we need to take off this little panel right here. So let's uh, put this in here and let's pry this out. There we go. That's out, and then we need to use a Phillips screwdriver to get this little uh, this bolt off right here. Now, upon taking that off. Next thing I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to pull this off because mine is not just a fuse box cover. I actually got the uh, the coin tray. Cause I don't want my, you know, my coins from my, my car account to be flying all over the place. So now the next thing we have to do is uh, pull this little thing off so I think we should be able to just, we just pull this thing out. Just like, yeah, so, so now we got that out of the way. And what we are looking for here is that guy right there. We're looking for that guy right there. So we got to pry this thing out of here or get it out of there. All right, so I went and got me a scribe here. Let's see if I can work this thing out of here. All right, so this is what I had to do. I got this scribe and I stuck it all, because it's a tight fit. I had to kit it all the way in there, bend this thing up, bring this little tab up, just to get it to unhook from here. And then I had to use my other hand to pull that thing out of there so yeah it wasn't the easiest of things to do but we got it now so now let's uh disconnect it from its connector here which is promising to be another hard thing to do all right all right so I had to pull it from the bottom and press the uh, disconnect button from there. Okay, so here we go. This is the stock one we took out and this is what I was talking about right here. So this is how it's facing when you see it in the car. I put the scribe right here. You can see it's kind of bowed up a little bit, but I bent this up to release this little clip right there. Y'all can see that, lift that up. And then uh, I was able to pull it out of there. So now here's the OLM LED flasher. 
So they look about the same, it's just that the, the stock one is a little lighter beige than this one. I know on camera you really can't tell, but yeah, this is a, this is more of a darker color. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect this thing in and then we're gonna test it out real quick. And then I'll uh, to see it, make sure it works. It works, then we'll snap this bad boy into place and, and button this thing up. All right, here, oh, hit the camera. There we go. We are in. So now, let's see if this thing works. Ooh. All right, y'all, so I already went to the trunk and I disconnected the uh, the driver's side tail light. And um, I disconnected the black connector to see, you know, to turn the turn sequential mode on. So let's go ahead and look at that. See if we got it fixed. It look like we got a win, baby. Problem solved. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get in the trunk and um, um, disconnect the black cable connector on the uh, on the passenger side, and then I'm gonna button this whole little thing up, and then we gonna uh, test it out again, and we'll make sure we're good to go before I start sealing everything up. All right, so let's go ahead and let's button all this stuff back up, and all it is going to be is the reverse of what you did. So. Uh, let me get this thing to connect back in here real quick. And there we go. Clicked in a spot. So we are good to go here. So now we got to do is just snap this back into place. Snap this thing right here back into place here. Now, <clears throat> so I can see right here, y'all gotta get this little rubber piece to go behind, well, on top of this. So I'm gonna run my little scrub behind here to get it in front of this. We're in. Only other thing we got to do now is put our Phillips screw back in in the bottom down here. And then snap this bad boy right here back into place. And we should be good to go. go put the change there we go for the car account that's back into place Well, there you go. So that was a simple solution to a simple problem. And I'm pretty sure it has something to do with the fact that it's an LED bulb and it's, it's sending a signal faster than a halogen bulb would. So that OLM uh, hyper blinking module took care of the problem. So had a little bit of success there. So it's a little quick, easy video or something. So any of y'all that's thinking about getting these tail lights, you might want to invest in getting one of those hyper blinking modules as well so you don't have to wait to order it later on down the road. So just make sure you don't make the mistake I made, but that's why I'm here. So I can make the mistakes and y'all can learn from them or not make the mistakes and still learn from them.
<laughs> I don't know. Whatever. So uh, I appreciate all y'all. Thank y'all for uh, taking the time out to watch this video. If you made it this far, man, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you get notified whenever I put out a new video. And until that next video, peace.